<laughs> right here, I'm talking with Fanella and Mauricio, right? Yes. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good. And you're both designers of the Lego Friends theme. Yes, yes that's yeah. right. Yep. You too. Yep. So I've asked a lot of questions for my daughter. She's five years old and um, she's really into Lego Friends. Um, she likes most of this, but, uh, most of all the stuff. But I have to ask first. There's one thing she's always asking me: me, why is it this way? And so this is my first question: why? Okay, is this is this glued? Glued? Okay, it. just. <laughs> so my daughter is missing the way that you can put this figure on a brick. Yes. Mm. Yeah. Well, so when we designed the mini doll for Lego Friends, um, we made it. Um, to be as realistic as possible because when we did all the testing we we did four years of testing when we developed this uh, we found that for the kids to play with it it really needed to reflect reality for them and so um, that meant that we had to make some compromises in functionality uh, one of those is the fact that we couldn't put a stud in the bottom um, and also the fact that we couldn't make the hands move independently and the legs move independently. But this is something that when we kids tested it, the kids really didn't have a problem with because they would prefer to have the figure look this way than to have the function. But of course, your daughter's input is interesting. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so um, it's no problem for me. I think you have always these uh, flat tiles uh, that you can put the minifigure inside, the figure inside. Yes, we have the foot plates that can go here and secure the figure when they're sitting down. Yeah. So I'm always um, talking or writing about mini dolls. Is this the right um, thing to tell? Um, yes, that's yes. the name of this figure. It's okay. called a mini doll. Yes. Okay, And you'd call it mini doll too? Mini doll, yes. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> so um, there is one big success. Uh, we've seen this roller coaster uh, one year ago at the Nuremberg Toy Fair. Yes. And um, it was great to see that there's finally a roller coaster and now it, there are prices all over the place. Um, are you both somewhat involved in this? Yes. The whole design team has been involved in developing the whole amusement park line, yes. Oh great, yes. so everybody was sitting there and we have to do amusement park and what will it be? Yes, so when we came up with this idea we went to the Legoland Park which is in Billund, so it's right on our doorstep and we had a team day out there with the designers and we went on all the rides and we tried to get inspiration for the functions and how it could be so we all worked together on these uh, models here today. So it's great to see because there is for example this ferris wheel in small in the Legoland. Yes, there is, uh, there is a small version of that in Legoland here in Billund, yes. And I've also seen this freefall tower. There are, I think, two where you can um, yes. do it your own way. Yes, you can pull yourself up and drop down. And then all the small details also were really inspiring. So we have, for example, a camera on the um, roller coaster and on the drop tower. So the idea that they're taking your photo when you're on the ride, this is something really fun in Legoland Park when you can see your picture at the end of the ride. So we created these decorations showing the, the characters on the, on the rides. And it also helped us to add different expressions to the friends' faces. Which one of all those rides is your favorite? I would call the, the Ferris wheel is my favorite one. Yes, because of the function and the way he moves. So, yeah. Have you spoken to Jamie Barat, who, who designed the big Ferris wheel, and what does he think about your Ferris wheel? Um, I haven't directly spoken to Jamie about the Ferris wheel, but uh, ours is a little bit smaller uh, yeah. than his. I've spoken to him um, about the theme in general, and he was really excited that we were exploring this, because he obviously is a big fan of the Ferris wheel, but also the themes around that. Um, and it's nice to try it in a different way and for a different target group, because this is for younger builders. Yeah. Yeah. Jamie told me in an interview once that he loves all the rides, but he hates Ferris wheel to go uh, <laughs> because there's the minifigure who looks like this and this is Jamie. He's afraid. <laughs> okay. So uh, anyway, but there's new stuff um, out. We've seen the new sets in Nuremberg as well. So this year we're going to have, um, it's very cold outside. So we have the winter theme and the second new theme, I remember, I remember Summer. is... Summer, we have the catamaran. 
Yes, of course. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So Mauricio is the designer of the catamaran. Okay. And uh, yeah, it's really exciting because we can explore both summer and winter, but it's all about embracing the adventure and uh, being brave and having a great time in wherever you are. I've seen the catamaran. I remember there's um, nice, nice colors as well. So um, what was the challenge to create this catamaran? One of the main challenges was actually with the construction of the boat because we, uh, especially with the base of the catamaran, um, we had to use two airplane pieces and still transform that element that usually is used as an airplane to create a, a whole new expression, which is the catamaran. So, yeah. So, of course, I have two kids at home and a girlfriend, and she likes Lego friends as well. But I was wondering, there are a lot of adult fans of Lego sets out there, like we mentioned all the Jamie stuff and Marcus Bessa, and uh, mm -hmm. building right now the Ghostbusters headquarters since 30 hours. <laughs> so, <laughs> so it's a lot of fun to build all this stuff. But there isn't any adult fan of Lego friends mini doll theme. So do you think someday there should be UCS Lego friends set or something? What do you think of this idea? Well, who knows what's coming in the future. Of course, we can't talk about that because it's top secret, but we're really grateful for the fans that love our line and that continue to support us. So you think so too, there could be any <laughs> big set in the future like uh, 4,000 bricks and this is Hard Lake City, um, any important building or stuff like that? Yes, we're always trying to push in the boundaries and innovate, so yeah, potentially in the future, but yeah. Okay, of course, no future. <laughs> okay, okay. <Yeah. laughs> Listen, who knows, who knows? Oh, they're going to be a big set. So, but, yeah. but anyway, um, when we talk about LEGO Friends, there are also new colors. And I think when you start LEGO Friends five years ago, there have been four new colors. Um, do you still think there are enough? Different colors, or would you like to see even more colors for girls or something? I will start okay. here. Okay, well, so I was on the original team developing Lego Friends. We actually made six new colors, um, and it was completely unprecedented in Lego to do that. It's a very difficult thing to add a new color because we actually want to make it that everybody uses the same color palette. So um, I, would I would never expect that we would get the same level of uh, new colors in the assortment as we did in the Lego Friends. But of course, we're always working with the colors we have and considering how can we work with them better. And then if there are spaces for new colors, it will take some time to evaluate it. But we would do that if it was needed by the consumer. And in your opinion, is there any color missing you would love to see in Lego Friends? Um, not at the moment that okay. I think it's missing, but yeah, okay. I think we have kind of a wide range of colors that we can use and the different combinations to bring newness to the, to the theme. And something I would like to ask when I build a Lego set, I always um, see that there are some parts you could use other parts as well. So there's, uh, for example, under the roof, um, a black or blue tile, with, oh, this could be white as well. Do you have a limit of different parts you are allowed to use for a set? Is there an, any uh, thing we have to know about? You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. No, we're not limited, but we do want to use um, as many pieces that we can that we share with the uh, rest of the company. But then, of course, we'll invest more in some sets that really require a, a new expression. So, with the roller coaster example, the track had never been made in a color that wasn't, you know gray or, or brown or black and so the blue was a really big thing that we had to make sure uh, we would be able to do but it did take some convincing to say this is really necessary for the set to be made and we did lots of different versions with lots of different colors uh, for this track. And I have to tell you something, and um, you have to tell me if this is fine. I have an amusement park at home in my Lego city and I'm using your hot dog okay. but <laughs> I've changed the colors. Is oh. this is this fine or am I a bad guy now? No, it's fine. I mean, we love to see like how people play and create with our products and make them their own. So that's, yeah, that's what Lego is all about. Yeah. yeah. Did someone of you design this this one? No, this no. was someone in our team, but okay. we we did work. Well, I helped to um, advise on the style of the set and also the labels and the new pieces because we made this hot dog bun, and this was actually a Lego friend piece that we made, 
Um, but then Angry Birds, they launched it first, but we made it <laughs> in our set. Okay, good. So yeah. good to know Lego Friends is, is first. Okay, is there any theme, uh, of course Lego Friends is the theme, any, um, you, we've seen different stuff in the past. We've seen Hard Lake City, a school, we've seen the amusement park. Um, is there any dream you have you would like to see? Or even is there another city except Hard Lake City? <laughs> mm. So I think we'll always be around Hard Lake City because this is the home of Lego Friends. And uh, we feel like we have unlimited models that we could make within that city. Um, of course, it's really exciting to explore new places like the amusement park or the snow theme that you guys have seen at Nuremberg. Um, and to see the different seasons. I think that's really exciting to add snow now to Hartley City. Um, so yeah, I think there's still loads of potential for the city. You think so too? Hartley City is a big city, they can be everything. Yes, there are many areas that we can explore within the city and also different areas just a little bit outside. We have the, the natural forest or we have the mountains in the background So there's and the beach area. So there's all of different places that we can explore within Heart Lake City. Yeah. Okay, so and two last questions I would like to, to ask you. So my daughter really loves Lego Friends since she's four years old so um, it was she still likes to play with Duplo yeah. but she always likes those figures and stuff and there's um, one problem from time to time I get a copy from Lego to, to show this set and I would maybe like to use the parts for other stuff but my daughter always thought no 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 papa this is for me <laughs> so every set I've got in the last years for a website as support um, my, my daughter got after I've shown it, I make pictures of it, I make a movie of it. So uh, there's a little Heart Lake City um, of her too. So uh, would you like to say something to my daughter? I would like to translate. Any message? Of course. <laughs> um, what's her name? Mila. Okay. Hi Mila. We're so, so happy that you love Lego Friends. And we're really grateful that you love building with our characters. And we can't wait for you to enjoy our future products. Great. And a little message from you for Mila? One of the most satisfying things for designing for LEGO is the excitement that we get from our fans when we see that they really enjoy what we do. So we're really glad that you love LEGO Friends and uh, keep building. So, yeah. Thank you so much. So there's one last thing from me. I have no mini doll for you. I'm really sorry, okay. but I would like to give you a mini figure. I'm looking at the... I have the two figures right here for you. So, oh, the head is missing. Could you hold this just for a second? Sure. Oh my goodness. <laughs> There's a cap. <laughs> so, a lot of stuff in my bag right here, but there are two. <laughs> there should be. Oh, there oh, we go. Yeah. Okay, there we go. Okay, so I have one figure for you. Thank you so much. And one mini figure for you. That's great. With thank our you. website. Thank you. So thank you again and um, all the best for you and looking forward to great new sets which will stay in our house as well because yeah. my daughter will <laughs> like to see them. Great. Thank you so much. Yes, thank you. For the opportunity. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Have a nice day. Yeah. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.